Hello everyone, welcome to the induction cooking class. Today we're using induction technology. If you guys don't know, it uses electricity instead of gas or the normal electric coil stove. And there's no residual heat because it uses magnetism and eddy currents to heat the pan directly. This reduces the indoor air pollution and it's a lot easier to control the temperature on this. And we're sponsored by East Bay Community Energy. They serve the Alameda County. They buy clean power and deliver it through the pg and &E lines to your home. And if you guys wanted to rent out your own induction cooktop, um, you can do so through this link, ebce.org um, slash induction cooking applied to rent yours out for a whole month. And without further ado, I'll let Chef Kelvin take it away with the cooking class. Thank you, Irving. Welcome everybody. What are we making today? So today I'm gonna to be making and teaching you guys how to do two dishes, okay? We're gonna have a main dish and then we're also gonna be doing a nice little beverage on the side. So we're gonna be doing today is a vegan Thai peanut curry. And then we're gonna pair that with a pineapple mint lemonade. It's a nice little balance between the two because the curry may have like a little bit of hit of spice to it. So a nice, nice beverage like that is gonna really cool it down. So first thing first we will do is we want to start off with our beverage, okay? Because what we need to do is we need to start off by making ourselves a nice simple syrup, all right? So let's get started, shall we? All right, so first things first we're gonna need is we're gonna need a little bit of coconut sugar. So we wanna get that simple syrup going first. So we need coconut sugar, we're gonna need about a half a cup of coconut sugar. So go ahead and add that in. Seems like a lot, but it's not. Then we're also going to need about a half a cup of water. And then we're going to also throw in that mint at the same time. All right. So we're going to make this more of a mint simple syrup. So, and then about a half of, uh, a quarter, a half a cup of mint. And we should be good to go. Let's make sure we have all that together. Just a little bit more simple syrup. Add a little bit more there. All right. And then we're just going to bring that up to a boil, okay? And we're going to bring that up to a boil until that, until that water dissolves. Let that sugar dissolve, actually. Once we get that, let that sugar dissolve, then what we're going to do from there is gonna make sure we're going to put that to the side because we want this to be nice and room temperature, okay? Now, we got mint in here. Now, the thing about this mint is, too, it has some really natural oils in there that we want to extract. So when this comes to a boil, what we're going to do is we're just going to just muddle it with like a little spoon or a wooden spoon, if that's what you have. Uh, we can muddle it, that's fine, too. And we're going to go ahead and muddle that so we can get all of those natural oils to come out of it. And then from there, what we want to do is bring that to a room temperature. I'm going to give this a little bit of help. So we just want that sugar to these all, all right? And then from there, while we have that going, then what we're going to do from there is we need to get ourselves two cups of pineapple juice. We're going to get ourselves a cup of lemon juice and two cups of water. We're going to add that to our pitcher, okay? So we're going to need that right there. Um, right now. Oops, a little butter fingers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add my lemon juice. I'm also gonna need two cups of pineapple juice. I prefer dull. Beautiful. And then from there, we're going to add our water, okay? So, again, that's two cups of pineapple juice, one cup of lemon juice, and two cups of water. Okay. 
Now let's make sure we keep an eye out on, that, on our simple syrup because it does not take long for our sugar to dissolve, okay? So you wanna make sure that we don't put it on it too long. You see all that mint already starting to wilt. So we can actually take this off right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and just give it like a little smash. I like to smash on the side and get up all that mint. Just smash on the side. Then we're just gonna let that steep. We're gonna let all those essential oils from that mint get all into our simple syrup. And, and how I'm, why I'm, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because, you know, it depends. If you like a little bit of pieces of mint in there, then you kind of go mash it up and you might get some breaking problems broken off. But I really love the essence of it, okay? I really love the essence of it. So that's what I'm looking for. I just want the essence of that mint flavor. All right, so we're going to let that sit. I'm trying to get over to another container and then let that sit for about 20 minutes or so to pretty to where it comes to room temperature, okay? Beautiful. All right. Now that we got that done, let's move on to our main dish. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side of the, all that juice right here. Ready to go. Now, if you guys know me, I'm all about the meat and class, okay? And so, with that meat supplies, I want to make sure that I'm getting everything prepared that I need to get prepared. So, for our curry, what we're going to need is we're going to need about one small carrot. We're going to have to chop that up. We don't need that zucchini for right now. We're going to save that for later. We're going to need about a thumb size piece of gar ginger. We're going to need about two pieces or two, two chilies, two red chilies. These are Thai chilies, okay? And then also two cloves of garlic. I'm going to use two and a half quarter. And then also one small onion. Okay, so we're going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and small dice these bad boys up. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my onion. I'm going to make sure that I leave this side intact. I'm going to cut this part off right here. That way, when I'm dicing this up, I won't have to worry about it falling apart because sometimes it can be very, very slippery and we don't want that. Okay. Because then sometimes it is very sometimes it can be very very dangerous. But also too, it makes it very easy to peel off. As you can see, there's one smooth movement, and we have our peeled onion here. So we're gonna go ahead and dice this up. And we wanna dice this up really really finely because what we're gonna be doing later on is we're gonna be blending this up. Okay. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna be Cooking this off, sauteing this up, and making it really, really, really soft. Okay. Back on my here. Watch out for those fingers. Now, if you want that more fine, then you can go ahead and just bunch that all up and everything. You can bunch it all up and just get a few more rounds over. But this should be fine right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, move that to the side, and prepare the rest of our bag. Okay, so I like to put that all in a bowl. And I just like to keep one bowl because they're all going for the same thing. Next is my carrot. Get that in off. And I like to just cut that in half. This makes it more easier. And then I can cut that into little bits of makes it a lot easier to really get that fine dice. Now, if you have a blender, you can use that as well, but I'm okay with just doing it this way. Practice right, makes perfect, and it also works on your knife skills, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start dicing these up. And again, as these are cut off, they're gonna be soft, so it's gonna make it really easy for you to blend this up later on. Bit by bit. Let's 
side. Okay, so little four and one. Now what you can do, if you want to, if, you, if you're pressed for time, what I would suggest is just go ahead and cite these up. They don't have to be uniform. If you want to start off that way, you cite up a bunch of them. So start off with, and then put them all together, and then give them a nice dice. Make sure we're looking, looking out for our fingers, so make sure you move them back. I do that. The safety first. What I like to do is I like to take my pinky, as you can see, I take my pinky and my thumb, and I put those towards the end to make sure I keep everything all bunched up. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say my pinky, but more of my much in depth by ring pinky. It definitely helps as far as keeping everything together and make sure that you are completely safe. I'll show you guys again. So I cut these into like nice little matchsticks, bunch them all together, thumb, ring finger, spray the claw as I like to call it. Make sure you're paying attention. Last few bits. And the more you do it, the faster you get, the better you get. You know, it's, it's like anything, you know, whatever you're practicing, you know, the more you do it, the better you get. Practice makes perfect, right? So if you really want to work on your nice skills, this is what I suggest you do is, you know, start off with vegetables like this. You know, it really helps. And it really helps to be more to it, like more like winter season, because then you're probably pretty sure you're making a bunch of soups. Last bit, and then we're going to add that to our onion as well. Then we're going to move on to our garlic and our chicken. We're going to do the same thing for our ginger. That one, add that to our bowl. Beautiful. Next is our ginger. Same, same concept as the, the, the uh, carrot. Nice slices, like so. Move that to the side, work with a little bit at a time. Mm. I love using fresh ginger. You can just smell it as soon as you start chopping it up. Definitely reminds me of Thai food. Right, a few more pieces here. Also, ginger, as no fact, is really, really good for your immune system. So if you're feeling a little bit under the weather, go ahead and slice it up some ginger just like that. Add a little bit of water to it, uh, a little hot water and some honey, and boost your immune system to fight that cold. But I think we're past that season. But who knows? You know, it's been it's still been a little bit of rain lately. So you know, if you're feeling a little under the weather, ginger is your key. I'm always an advocate for ginger. Or you make yourself a nice soup like this, you know, and then you can enjoy the ginger, you know. And big so. All right. A little bit of that little piece right here. And leave him out. Sit with his brothers and sisters. All right. And then that. Beautiful. Nice and healthy. All right. Next, we're going to go with our garlic. If you guys have been to my class before, you guys know how we do our garlic. Use that back end of our knife instead of the front end, the sharp end, because it takes a lot longer to use that sharp end. You can just be chopping all day. Like use that back in and closest to the handle. I like to hold it down and smash. And if you do it this way, you don't have to worry about chopping your finger or cutting your finger. Regardless of how close you get to the knife. But just hold it down. Just give it a nice smash. We can give you guys a better little view of what I'm doing here. So again, 
just turns you guys off. Just bear with me. There we are. I think we're back. And we're sideways. Let's see if we can fix that. No. Hopefully it'll fix itself. Let's see. Then from there, all I do is go right over, right once over, maybe twice over. I change off my garlic like so. If you get that fine, it's okay. All right. Get all that together. And then last but not least, our Thai chilies. Just gonna bunch them together. Give it a nice little chop, season to it, because why not? You want to do a bit of heat to it, no stems, of course. All right, go ahead and add that in as well. All right, there you have it. We got my pizza pot ready to go. We'll give ourselves a nice little clean up real quick. Because again, if you've been to my, if you've been to my cut before, uh, clean station is a happy station. All right. And we got that down. Let's get things done, shall we? So, we're going to go ahead. Let that heat up. And we're going to add a little bit of oil to there. We're going to saute these bad boys, okay? All right. Now, while this is heating up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start heating up my tofu. So we want this tofu to marinate, okay? I'm going to create a nice little marinade for our tofu. So for me, I just cut it in half. I don't want to take cheap chunks of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it into strips first. Then cut it again and take it to the next one. So, cubes there. And then we're going to place this into a bowl. Before we place it into a bowl, I'm going to go ahead and place this into a bowl right here. I'm going to use half because this is just for me. But if you feed two people, then go ahead and do it. You can do both the whole thing. And for our marinade, you guys, what we're going to need is. Are you guys ready? All right. So, for our marinade, we're going to need about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Give yourself a bowl. We need two tablespoons of soy sauce. We're going to need our liquid because what's a marinade without a liquid? That is our soft content. Then from there, we're going to need about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then very So we're going to need about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So go ahead and add that to our bowl as well. Make sure it's only a half a teaspoon. Then we're going to need also about uh, one teaspoon of coriander powder, paprika, and then sugar. And then also we're going to need another half a teaspoon of. So go ahead and add your turmeric first. Then from there, let's go ahead and add our rest. Okay, so we have our cinnamon. Be careful with this. Make sure you don't use too much. Cinnamon is very, very strong. Go ahead with our paprika. Same thing. I like to do it. I like to just pour it off. And then our soy. 
And also, too, I'm going to come with some coconut sugar as well. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and mix that all in. Perfect. This, get that all mixed in, incorporate it. Doesn't take long. Just make sure you get that all incorporated to a nice, smooth, tasty. Mm, give that a nice little smell. It smells delicious. And just to make sure that I get everything incorporated into my tofu, I'm going to mix it in with this bowl right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix that all in. Get it all nice and covered. But I want to make sure that it is nice and marinated. Because if I was to, to add my sauce to it, I'll add my, my, um, I want to add my marinade into the other bowl, then there's no guarantee that I will use, get all that marinade in it. So I'd like to have two bowls at a time. Okay, now that that's ready to go, I'm going to have to set to the side. That gives me enough time. Let me know that my oil is ready. And how do I know my oil is ready? When I start seeing a nice little smoke coming from my pan, then I know that my that my um, that my pan is ready. My oil is ready. Go ahead, add that all in. Beautiful. And we're gonna cook that down, okay? I'm going, to stir fry, I'm going to stir fry that for about a couple of minutes. Make sure you get all that ginger mixed in too. Make sure it's cooked ready. I'm going to turn this down. Okay. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this into a pot. Because then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this all up. Okay. So right now I have my garlic, my onion, my red chili, my ginger, and my carrot. I'm just gonna stir that, stir fry this for a couple of minutes. Mm, you can smell it already. All oh, that flavor. Make sure you get the size. Don't miss anything. There we go. Beautiful. I let that cook right here. <laughs> now, while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start preparing my other ingredients. Okay. So, I have my zucchini. So this, is my, this is the vegetable that I'm going to be putting in later on as a filler. And so, I just going to go in all. I just cut it right down the middle. And depending on you, I can just go ahead. Now, I like to cut them on a bias or I'm give them nice little oblique little sizes. It does really give them a presentation, but also, too, you know, um, it keeps them pretty big so they don't mush up. I like my veggies, and I'm pretty sure you do too, when I'm adding veggies to my soup or, um, you know, my curry. I like them to be, have a little bite to them, okay? Then also make sure that you're paying attention to your onion. Make sure. Now, when you first start off, we're going to get a little bit of that bite of that Thai, that Thai chili in your throat. Don't worry. That's what it's supposed to do. But it's going to cool down. I'm going to balance that out with our coconut, our, our coconut milk later on. So we're looking good. All right. Next one I'm going to do is, okay, and I have my bell pepper. I'm going to do a nice little red bell pepper as well. Some nice little color to it. And when I do my bell pepper, I have to make sure I'm going to use as little waste as possible. If you have this, save those seeds. You can plant those bad boys. I just moved to a new space. And in that space, I have a nice little garden area. So I'm going to save those. And I'm going to see if I can plant and make some more um, some more uh, bell pepper. Now, you might wonder why did I cut this part off. Now, this part can be very, very bitter. And I'm looking for a little bit of a sweetness. So. That's why I have to cut that part off and I just want to that red flesh. And 
And I don't want them too big, but you know, you want to get a nice little size out of it. So I'm gonna add that in as well too because these are all gonna go together. And then um, typically you can add any other veggies in there too. Uh, for this one, sometimes like I like I really like to use zucchini. I can use red bell pepper. It has like nice little sweetness to it. But I also sometimes I just use I can use broccoli as well. But this time I'm gonna use some sugar snap peas. Okay, for this one, and they come in that safe way, like so. Some sugar snap peas like these here. These work perfectly. Um, they maintain their bite. You know. So I'm gonna add like a nice little handful in there as well too. I love these, this is really good for a snack as well. But look at all that, you can just see right now that vibrant color that's always gonna be, gonna be in your dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side. Again, we're gonna do a nice little cleanup. We're gonna check in. We're gonna check in on our onion mixture. Our onion, carrot, ginger, and garlic, and Thai chili mixture. Looks like we're ready to go. Remember, only a few minutes, okay, guys? Maybe like two to three minutes at the most. So all we want is our onion to be nice and soft, okay? All right, perfectly. Now, from there, what we're gonna do from there is I'm gonna transfer this into I'm gonna transfer this into my boat, my pot here that I already have ready to go. Make sure you get all that in there carefully. Team no base. Now I'm gonna keep this to the side. See all this right here? I'm gonna keep this to the side right now. Now I'm not gonna go this way, but there's a lot of flavor down there, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this later on. All right. Now that we got that in here, now let's go ahead, go ahead and add a rest of our ingredients. Okay, so now we're going to need to add our vegetable stock. We're going to add also our crushed peanuts or peanut butter, some sugar, a little bit of soy sauce, and then we're going to blend this bad boy up. Okay, so what we're going to need now is going to need about two cups of vegetable stock. I like to use unsalted. That way, if I need to salt my dish later on, you know, I don't have to worry about how much salt or uh, sodium I have in there. So I like to go with unsalted. So I'm gonna go with two cups of that. Beautiful. Then from there, we're gonna actually add our uh, one, and then we're gonna need about a third cup of peanut butter. So I have my peanut butter here. Okay, that's that chili, guys. <clears throat> then we're going to need about one teaspoon of sugar. So, we're going to need one teaspoon of coconut sugar. So why not why not have coconut sugar when we're adding coconut milk? All right. So I got that coconut sugar in there. And then for then we're gonna need our soy sauce. We need a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now this is gonna be our salt content right here. This is gonna be our salt. That's why I like to use no sodium or like no sodium at all, because when we add that soy sauce in there, that's our sodium content. All right, and then we're gonna have about a one and a half cups of coconut milk. All right. Go ahead and add that in. And about half a cup. Beautiful. And get all that in. I don't wanna waste anything. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that up now. You can typically put this in a blender and blend that up 
but for this one, I don't have a blender here, so I'm going to use my emulsifier, okay? So I'll give you guys a little bit of mix here. I'm going to do this here. Turn out some space. All right, so we're going to bring that to the side here to give us a little C. And we'll give this a nice little blend, shall we? All right. All right, now go ahead and blend that in. What we're going to do is get all those carrots, all those vegetables, all mixed in. Watch out for the split. Before you bring it back up again, if you have one of these before you bring it back up, turn it off because it will splatter. The key to that to this right now too is we want to make sure that we get all this ingredients mixed into a nice little soup. Um, but we also want to make sure as well too that we put all those big old pieces of peanut butter in there that we get that blended up as well. Okay. But a nice smooth sauce. Right. Now it may take a minute, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna blend this for about two to three minutes at the most. Two to three minutes. Let's make sure we have nice smooth sauce and there's no chunks in here. But as chefs as well, we gotta make sure that we're tasting our food. So let's give this a stop real quick. I wanna make sure that we're at the right flavor profile that we want. Oh, we have a spoon on hand. Mm, believe it. There we go. That nice little hint of that Thai chili. It's not hot. It's not hot dogs. It's nice, like that little tingle. Actually, taste that ginger in there, you can taste that garlic in there. This is what we're looking for. Perfect. All right, let's move that to the side. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and move that to the side because now what we want to do is we're going to start working on those veggies that we either cut up and put together. That's going to be our filler, okay? So that pan that we had cooked our, that we cooked our onions in, and we're going to need that now. There we are. Now, we're gonna go ahead and bring that back. Now, remember I said that we're not going to waste any of this right here. All these bits right here, as we call, that's that gold, okay? So all those bits that we have in there, we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that because that's a lot of flavor that's left over that's stuck to that pot of the pan. And as long as this is not burnt, that is gold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more oil to here. We're gonna add our tofu and our vegetables, and then we're gonna saute that. 
And then from there, we're gonna add the rest of what we're gonna add that that smooth sauce to there and let that cook, okay? So add the onion on there. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and check my little simple syrup here. Wow. Nice stone mint flavor to that. It's delicious. I love it. All right. So we're going to let this heat up again. There we have our veggies. Here we have beautiful. Then we also have our tofu. So And that marinade is delicious. Yummy. Great. All right. And I want to see, I want to make sure that my simple serve is coming down to room temperature. It should be now room temperature right now, but you know, I double check. I mean, I just want to taste it again. Go ahead. One thing I love about that coconut sugar is going to give that nice brown molasses color. But yes, room temperature right now is beautiful. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that if you want it nice and cold, then you add some ice to there, you know, or you can add ice to your to your cup and then add it in. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit for right now. We're gonna add it to our pitcher. All right, so now that we got that ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the tofu in here. So let's go ahead and add that tofu. And again, you want to make sure we hit that sizzle. If you don't hear that sizzle, guys, it's not ready. Let's get the rest of that marinade because we don't want to lose that. That marinade is so delicious. Make sure everything's all in here. So bring it down a little bit. I don't want it too hot. Okay, now I'm going to add our chopped veggies in there as well, too. Beautiful. Now I'm going to let that cook for a minute, okay? I'm going to let that cook for a minute. What I don't want is to go ahead and start mixing that up because there's a lot of moisture in that tofu. And so when you deal with a lot of moisture on a hot surface, it will have to do a start to stick. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you let it sit there and let it cook. But look at those vibrant colors right there. That's beautiful, you guys. This is what we're looking for, okay? Anytime you go to a Thai restaurant, that's what you look for. You look for those bright, nice, vibrant colors. And then we're gonna finish this off with this soup. I'll take some more smooth soup right here. And we'll let that come together, okay? So as you can see, I'll let it sit there for a minute. And then we're gonna give it a nice little toss. All right. While that's happening, we'll go ahead and move this one. Look at those vibrant colors. All right. We're going to cook these for about a couple of minutes, okay, until they start to golden, okay? That's what we're looking for. You want to make sure these, go, these vegetables are golden. You don't want to go ahead and throw them in right away. All right, because we want to, what we're trying to do is create that nice little crust onto our vegetables. That's why I let them stick. I don't keep on tossing them because I want a lot of that moisture to come out. All these vegetables have a lot of moisture in them. So I want to create that crust first. And then I'm going to toss it again and then create crust on the fixing areas that did not get crusted. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and well, uh, this right here is called we're going to reglaze with this smooth, smooth. Okay, it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful already. All right, you kind of want to let this cook for about maybe a minute and a half before you stop. All right. If you feel like you have too much in here, it's on one and what you want to do is if you don't have a big pan, then what you can do is turn that heat up just to kind of create that crust a lot faster, you know. Um, that's what you can do, all right? Um, but you want to make sure if you do not have something where it has more control of the heat, you have a really low heat, then you want to make 
make sure that you do not put too much in here. If you do have to put too much in here right then, like I got a little bit off the pan I have right now, then just turn up the heat a little bit. Keep an eye on it, okay? That's all you need to do. All right. Uh, we got that going. Right. While we sit here and wait for this to continue, so let's look at our drinks right now, okay? Our beverage. We're going to move this to the side. There's our sausage. We're going to move this to the side. Five a little bit. All right. Beautiful. So let that cook for a minute. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a little bit of ice to this bad boy. That's too much because I don't want to dilute it, okay? And then from there, you, know, you don't, unless you want that the, the mix in there, it picks up a fine mess. Okay, so you, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that right on in. That's the way we can catch all that mess. Now, all that mint right there, what I wanna make sure I wanna do is I want to make sure that I get all that mint uh, in there. So all that, all that, all that essential extract oil. So I'm going to give it a nice little squeeze. Get all that oil in there. I don't have to worry about any of that mint getting in there. And then give it a nice little swirl. Mm. Delicious, you guys. And then go ahead and refrigerate that, okay? Get it ready to go. Back to our regular schedule program. Right. Up a bit, put that back in. All right, so from here, guys, this is where we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and add that soup in there. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, I'm going to take my spoon that I had in my earlier, my spatula. So what I'm going to do is I want to get all those bits that's at the bottom of that pan and mix them all in, and I'm going to let this come to a simmer. So what I'm doing right now, going to the bottom of the pan, I'm trying to give it like a nice soft little scrape. So I want to get all those bits and pieces up, okay? Take your time with it. Right. We're gonna bring that to a nice little simmer. Bring that up to the simmer, and then from there, we'll let it simmer until it's ready to go. Okay. All right. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? The one one is the one that all those flavors combine together. So we're gonna let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once you start bringing that, once that comes to a boil, we're gonna turn that heat down, and then we're gonna bring it to a simmer. All right. All right. When that's going to, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my name. Flavor content is where I want it to be. 
Again, as chef, we always got to make sure we taste our food. Oh. Let's take a fork and be up that. Let's take a fork and be All right. From there, I'm going to go ahead and get my bowl ready because I'm going to eat this right when this is done, okay? But it tastes really good right now, but just wait until all those flavors combine. Then we're gonna really, really have a, have a surprise here. We're gonna really have a treat. But just tasting it right now, taste all those different flavors I can taste. That ginger, I can taste that garlic, I can taste even the onion. You can taste all that in there. Delicious. And it melts in your mouth, you guys. That's what you want. Beautiful. Now, if you feel like you don't have enough salt content in there, okay, you want a little bit more, that would say just add a little bit more soy sauce and taste as you go. But just remember too, this is a soup, okay? So if you're not gonna eat this all right away, then remember that, that as, it's, as it cooks, it cooks down, it causes, it becomes, it, it starts to concentrate. As it concentrates, all uh, that salt content, all that sodium content concentrates as well. So don't worry too much, okay? At the end, if you need to add a little more, add a little more, okay? But remember that this is going to reduce. As we cook this, it will reduce. So always keep that in mind. Anytime you're working with a soup and you feel like there's not enough salt in there, but you know you have to cook it for a while, remember that as it reduces, it's going to concentrate, okay? So make sure you don't put too much salt in there because then it could become too salty. This ruins it. All right. Every now and then, just make sure you kind of go in with the spatula, give it a nice little mix. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Let's just let that sit for a minute, and then let's give let's, let's give our 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 pineapple a little taste. Okay. I'm gonna add some ice cubes. In my cup as well. So my nice and refreshing. So let's give this a nice little taster. Not too much, but add a little bit in here. Let's give this a taste and see how we are. Oh, that's delicious. This is going to be key for this dish, you guys, okay? And so, no more tight places for me. This is what I want for the rest of my life. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to go for about another five minutes, you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to play it up. One thing I like about this too as well is Let's go to those bell peppers as we as, since we already started cooking those down. The you know, bell peppers is really gonna be nice and soft and everything too. But the veggies that we really don't want to be too soft, they're gonna be stays just as uh, what they how they should be. So snap peas are gonna be great. There's some chili in there is gonna be great as you can see right here. You can hold the shape. You don't have to worry about it being all soft.
see where we're at right now. I think we gotta reduce a little bit. So with this one, I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce. Just a little bit. Try to add maybe just a tablespoon of it. Mix that in. Once you do this a lot, you know, you're gonna really understand when you wanna put add more sodium or any type of sodium content in there. For this one, I wanna add a little bit more. I wanna add one tablespoon of it. But oh, once you let this sit overnight, you're really, really gonna be pleased with the end results. So if you wanna eat this right away, You're going to be happy. Yes, there we are. All right. Good wishes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my little bit more ice in there. I love these big ice cubes. I have these really big ice cubes in here. So, I think we should be ready to go. All right. So, go ahead and turn that off. And let's start plating up, you guys. All right, there we go. Have our bowl. Move this out the way. Surface, a little splatter. All right. Get a nice big scoop of it. Want to make sure you get a good amount of veggies, some tofu, and then from there, what I like to do also too is I sometimes I like to get nice little jasmine rice, put some jasmine rice on the side. It's up to you. But look at those vibrant colors here we have working on this. And then the finishing off with our pineapple mint lemonade, Thai lemonade. Beautiful. I can top myself off because why not? And there you have it, you guys. We have our Thai peanut curry with our coconut, or I mean, with our pineapple mint lemonade. Yep. Delicious. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys next time.